A long time ago, I created a video with um, some helpful utilities that I use on my Mac computer to uh, help me do presentations and help me do demos and meetings and things like that. And it was items like uh, being able to annotate your screen or being, being able to show your uh, keyboard strokes on the screen when you're typing. And one of the tools, the one that I personally use the most is highlighting my cursor. I want to be able to uh, put a circle around my cursor to show people where my mouse is pointed, uh, be able to zoom in on that cursor, things like that. And I've been using something called Cursor Pro. It's available in the Mac App Store and um, it's worked great for me for a really long time. But I've noticed, and I've gotten a lot of questions about like, hey, what are the options for Mac and PC? You know, I'm on a Windows computer. How can I highlight my cursor there? And there's things you can do in Windows directly where you can make the cursor bigger, you can change the color. There's also a, a Microsoft tool or utility group called Power Toys, and there's a cursor highlighter in there as well. But I became aware recently through an update from Logitech uh, about the ability to spotlight your cursor on Windows or on Mac, either platform, the same feature, um, if you have a Logitech mouse that is supported by Logi Options Plus. That's the software that we're going to use. So I happen to use this mouse. This is the... Uh, the Logitech um, MX Master 3S. And I really like this mouse. I've used it for a long time since it first launched. I bought it with my own money. This isn't you know sponsored by Logitech or anything like that. I just, I use them for my mouse and my keyboard personally. And I wanted to give it a shot at Logi options and see how the spotlight works. So I figured let's record it and let's find out what that looks like together. So. The way that we get this uh, new feature is on the Logi Options Plus website. And you'll see that it's kind of second nature for me to click a button on my mouse to do that highlighter right here. This highlighter that I'm using, this little circle, that's Cursor Pro. So we're going to replace that with Logi Options Plus with our uh, MX Master 3S mouse. And you get this uh, from the Logitech website. I will put the link to download um, in the description of this video so you can get directly to it. And I noticed that down here under key features, we can scroll over and we've got this new feature right here, which is spotlight effects. So now you can turn your mouse into a, what would have been a more expensive presentation remote back in the day, whenever we've got like these, I think the, the remote is called the Logi Spotlight remote. Um, I've, I've been jealous of people who have it because it looks really cool, but it's also really pretty expensive and I've got other gear that I could probably use. So this is built into the software to be able to use with your mouse. So I've got that installed. I've been using Logi Options Plus for quite a while. And the way that we'll configure that is in the mouse settings right here. You can see I, I need to charge my keyboard, I guess, but my mouse is ready to go. And I use this button right here. So that's the, the button right above the uh, scroll wheel. I use that as my cursor highlight button. And what it's doing is it's doing this big complicated keyboard shortcut that uh, essentially I hold down all those keys and hit M and that activates Cursor Pro, the third party, I think it's $15 uh, from the App Store. We're gonna replace that with Logi Spotlight. So I'm gonna click on that. Instead of doing a keyboard shortcut, I'm going to do a Spotlight Effect. So we're gonna click on Spotlight Effect, and it looks like <clears throat> what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm seeing this for the first time. So it looks like I'm gonna press and hold that button to move the pointer effect while keeping the device steady, double click to toggle between different effects. Okay, so if you press and hold, you can move it around. If you double click, you toggle between the multiple effects. So what are the effects? I've got highlight, which looks like it's gonna dim the screen and it's gonna kind of spotlight my mouse. I can, I guess, make it more or less dim. 
we'll leave it maybe like 75%. I can make it bigger or smaller. So that's pretty cool. I'll leave it at like 50%. It looks like I've also got magnify and laser. So magnify, this one is, uh, I guess, going to make that area bigger. That's something I do with Cursor Pro. I click to, uh, to like turn on the green circle. Then I hold down a key. I hold down my control key and it zooms in. And then I let off the key and it goes back to like regular size. But we'll see how this works. I also can do a laser pointer. So that's something I didn't have with uh, Cursor Pro is I can turn it into a laser pointer. It looks like I can adjust the size for that so you get kind of more or less uh, luminescence there. So let's just leave these, you know, mostly at the default. And now I'm going to click this button and I'm going to hold it down. Okay, so that didn't do it. Oh, there it is. It looks like it, it worked after a second. So I'm going to back out. It applied that effect. Now I'm going to hold down that button right now. I'm clicking and holding. And if I click and hold and I don't move my mouse, nothing is happening. If I click and hold, I'm holding the button right now. If I move my mouse now, I am highlighting my screen and I can look at all that. That looks like it's a little bit too, you know, big of a circle. So I'm going to go back in under highlight. That's like 50%. I'm going to make it maybe like 35%. And now if I hold it down and move it, that's a little bit better. Let's make it like 20%, 25%. If I can get that slider to go right where I want it to. Um, 24% is close enough. So uh, that's a little bit better. That's about the size that I was using before with Cursor Pro. Now, I don't see that I could use a, a keyboard shortcut like I, like I had before where I could use two hands to control this. But we see at the, the top here, I would double click to toggle. So if I double click, okay, it's asking like to, to bypass things for accessibility. So I double click, now I've got the, the laser pointer and I'm, I'm clicking and holding down and I'm laser pointering. I go here and it kind of flashes to now you're in highlight mode. Double click. Now if I click and hold, I'm zooming in. And then I go back to double click and now I'm using the laser pointer to kind of like show that. Um, just off the top of my head, I wish that, like I'm used to the Microsoft laser pointer uh, in like whiteboard and stuff. I wish that there was like a tail on it when I'm like drawing, I wish it would kind of draw and then fade away. That would be a really cool effect. So without that little tail, I don't really see a lot of point in the laser pointer, no pun intended. So I'm going to turn off the laser pointer and now I'm just toggling between the highlighter and double click and I'm going to do the uh, magnify. Where's it at here? Magnify. It's still just doing the, uh, the highlighter. Let me toggle that off, toggle it back on, go out of the settings. So now, okay, now I'm magnifying. And if I double click, then I'm still magnifying. Let's double click here and still magnifying. Okay, so let, let's go back in and, and check this thing out. So let's uncheck that, recheck it, uncheck magnify, recheck it. Um, okay, that's magnify. Okay, so I double click. It's doing the highlight now. Now I would be highlighting. If I wanna double click and zoom in on this thing, I would now be zooming in. So. It's one handed operation. I do like that. I appreciate that for like, I can toggle between the two and say like, all right guys, check this thing out. I'm gonna click the orange button right here to minimize this window. And then I could go back to highlight and I could say like, look at all these settings and I could highlight that. So I'd have to kind of know which mode I'm in. Personally, um, I've got two hands. So I like having um, a button on my keyboard to kind of do that switch between the two. So. Two things I would like to have. I'd love to have a tail on this laser right here. And I would love to uh, be able to do a keyboard shortcut to switch between the spotlight effects. Other than that, um, I think that this would work out pretty well for me because um, I can go in, I can show things really easily. 
I can double click and now I'm uh, magnifying. I think I'm going to use this for a little while and see how I like it. See if I end up switching back to cursor pro or if I use this, uh, this free option, you know, I guess it's not really free cause you're buying, you know, a Logitech mouse, but if you already use a Logitech mouse, which I highly recommend, um, check this out in the Logi options plus, and, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Is this a, a helpful option for you? Do you like having the same, uh, feeling between windows and Mac? Uh, so that it kind of looks the same and acts the same. Um, is there any limitations that you found that uh, that I didn't stumble across? Um, yeah, just let me know. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.